What's up guys, Everything Epan here, and today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows 98 in VirtualBox. Now this is the second edition of Windows 98, because really I mean what's the point of installing the first edition when you can have a newer version of Windows 98. Now if you notice that this screen is a little bit better, I actually got a couple new monitors in here, and uh, the screen resolution is better on both of them. So um, you're actually going to be getting better um, screen quality and my videos are still going to be in full 1080p as well. So without further ado let's go ahead and get started with this video tutorial. So there's going to be a couple links in the description. The first link is going to be to VirtualBox if you do not have it already. Um, it'll take you to like an ad page. You just hit skip in like the top right corner and then it'll take you to this page and then um, so then you just choose the one that you need. I've done the, I've gone through this before. Um, you know what to do. You can get the extension pack if you want. And then the second link is actually the Windows 98 um, ISO and key as well. Um, now it is protected by a password, but you can get that in the description. Um, it's in a text file in a WinRAR um, in a WinRAR file. So you're going to have to have WinRAR to um, also be able to extract the files. So I'll have a link in the description to get WinRAR. I'll also have the link to get uh, the password as well. So once you get all of those, you're going to need to open up VirtualBox. And then um, your screen may look like this. It may not, just depending on if you've used it before. But you want to hit New in the top left corner and give your machine a name. I'm going to call it Windows 98 YouTube and it already has Windows 98 selected. There is no second edition in here, so just leave it on Windows 98. Hit Next. Give it as much RAM as you want. Um, I'll give it a gig. Hit Next. Um, create a hard drive. I'm just going to leave it at the normal of 2 gigs, but I'd recommend going up to probably 10 gigs maybe. Maybe 5 gigs actually would be enough. But I'm just going to leave it at 2 since it doesn't take so much. And then you'll get the machine in the bottom corner over here. You just want to hit Settings storage and then hit the disk do not hit the floppy hit the disk hit the disk over here hit choose and then you need to find um, your ISO file mine is way in here uh, right there and um, it's 625 megabytes so go ahead and hit OK and then go ahead and start the machine And then it'll ask you for two options to boot either from the hard disk or the CD-ROM. Um, you want to go ahead and hit the second option, boot from CD-ROM. And then you're going to want to hit the top option, start Windows 98 setup from CD-ROM. This video, um, by the way, was requested by someone. I don't remember who the exact person was, but it was requested by someone that I do this. Um, but I don't remember what the exact username is. And I also got a request to do another video on which will be coming out later. So now you'll get this screen. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Windows XP screen because I obviously wasn't alive at the time for Windows 98. So hit enter and then go ahead and enter again. And then um, it says you have a hard drive of 512 megabytes. You can do this if you want. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hit um, yes, enable. And then just hit enter then hit boot from hard disk and then if you get this failure um, it's always nice to just do it again because sometimes I have this problem you just need to reset and go through the steps again so boot from CD-ROM start the setup and then you should get that blue screen again and there you go that is that's a mistake a lot of people make I actually showed you I actually just made a mistake you do not boot from the hard drive again or you do not boot from the hard drive um, after you hit the um, CD and go through that little blue screen setup you need to boot from the CD-ROM yet again and then it'll go through a disk check um, and now it's going to go through a routine check so go ahead and enter and then it's going to go ahead 
and you actually get a GUI interface now. So it says it'll take between 30 to 60 minutes, but it should be quicker than that since you know it's not back in the 90s where it would take hours to do it. So this part goes pretty quick. See now, as you see, it goes from 30 to 60 minutes to 38 minutes. Um, so now it's going to get you to the setup wizard. Go ahead and just hit next because it asks you where you want to install it. So just hit next. It's going to check for installed components, which should uh, not take very long. As you see, we're down to 36 minutes already, so we just lost two minutes of time. Now we're down to 34, so we just lost another two minutes. Now go ahead. Um, you can choose whichever one you want. Um, but, I mean, I just recommend leaving it a typical because there's really nothing you need to change here. Um, then hit, keep it at the recommended to install the most common components. And then this is where you give your computer a name. I'm just going to give it a uh, name of EPAN. Can't type today. EPAN 98. Leave it at work group or whatever you use. I'm just going to leave it there. Hit next. Uh, choose your country. And now it's going to actually start copying files. And now, as you see, we're down to 25 minutes of estimated time remaining. So we're going through really quick in this setup. Um, so now it uh, will give you screens like this pretty much um, saying sit tight and wait for Windows to install on your computer. And it will go through the file copy process now. And we're down to 24 minutes. So um, depending on the speed of your computer, depending on the speed pretty much, um, this could take from a range of um, 5 to 15 minutes, maybe even longer, maybe even quicker. I have no idea. Um, but as you see, this would be the screens that it's just like you're installing it on a brand new computer back in the 90s. Like if any of you were born in the 90s and you guys used Windows 98 or if you've fresh installed Windows 98, like got it on a new computer, this is pretty much like getting a brand new computer. So I'm going to go ahead and let this copy, and I'm going to um, let this sit, and I'll be with you guys in just a second. So this is going to fast forward, and I'll be with you once it's uh, getting to the point where we restart. Okay, so uh, that took a lot quicker than I thought it would. Um, didn't even take five minutes. So now it's asking you to restart, and you just want to go ahead and do that. You can either let it go or just hit restart now. And it'll reboot your machine. Now this time you do want to boot from the hard disk. It's getting ready to run for the first time. And it should load with another GUI interface. Yep, okay, so... Um, this is pretty much where you type in a name. I think you have to do this step. Yep, you need to type in a name. So we're going to type in everything epan. Next. And then it says the license agreement, and this proves to you right here that it's the second edition because it says it in the license agreement. So go ahead and accept it. Hit next. And then you're going to need this key. You're going to need it now, and now we're going to actually need to um, find it. Alright, so I entered in the key. I was having a little bit of problems at first, but I entered in the key that I used, and it says um, click finish to continue starting Windows 98, and we're going to go ahead and do that now. And now it's going to set up hardware and plug and play devices you may have, and as you see, we have an estimated time remaining of 15 minutes. So now it's detecting non plug and play hardware. It says it may take a few minutes, but it's not going to take that long. And it says it may cause your computer to stop responding, but obviously it's not going to do that because your computer's how new? A lot newer than when this operating system came out. So um, I'm going to let this sit. And, um, I'll be back with you guys once we get to pretty much the 
point in time where we um, are getting to the point where we're boarding up actually into Windows 98. Okay, so we're at a restart screen again. So obviously you want to go ahead and restart now and set estimated time remaining as 11 minutes. Once again, boot from the hard disk. And this is normal if you've seen this type of screen. It's going to go back to another blue screen like this. It's pretty much resuming from where it left off. And um, you restart a lot of times during this setup. So pretty much leaving right where we left off and um, we're pretty much resuming setup, so I'm going to be back with you guys again once uh, we either hit a restart point or we're getting to the point of booting into Windows 98. Okay, so if you get errors like this, it's completely normal. Just keep hitting OK if errors keep coming up. Um, for some reason, it does this. Um, I have not found one that actually does not have errors, but if you get errors, just keep hitting OK. Um, while that was going on, you had to do like a little quick uh, time zone setup, which is very simple, but I just uh, fast forwarded over that because I figured you guys know all to know how to set up your time and everything you know your time zone and stuff but uh, um, you saw the error that you got it's completely normal for this um, just go ahead and hit OK and it's going to continue with the setup and I'm going to go ahead and keep going with the setup uh, and fast forward so uh, you'll probably see errors again throughout this fast forward just keep hitting OK until you get to the end of it like this one right here just keep, hit close. It's going to keep doing it. Just keep hitting close. So I'll be back with you guys once it's uh, getting to the point. Uh, restart or um, installation or whatever, you know what I mean. And there you go. Actually, it did not have to because it already asked you for a name. So just hit OK because you don't have a password. It's going to find some hardware. You might, I, you should have audio. I'm not sure, to be honest. I, f I don't know if you will have audio. I, th I think I should, but we'll see. So we indeed do get audio. And um, it'll take a little bit for it to load for the first time, and then you should be, you should get another screen where it's going to play some more music, I think. But here we are at the interface. There we go. There you go. That was the screen I was telling you about. It might have been, I don't know how loud it was for you guys, but um, the internet possibly works. Uh, it just depends. I think if it takes you to this screen, it will. If you hit cancel, maybe. I think you try, have to try and go through the setup, try and bypass it, I think. So, um, uh, depending on it, I don't know if you'll have internet access or not. You'll have to mess around with it. But that is my video tutorial on how to install Windows 98 in VirtualBox. Um, for whoever the person that requested it, I don't remember your username, but there you go. There's your tutorial that you wanted. And hopefully this will help out a lot of other people too. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial. There's going to be many ones coming in the future. Um, hopefully... Hopefully we'll have videos other than just video tutorials like this. Um, hopefully we'll have some new Minecraft ones late, later, um, but we'll see what happens. So again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.